Welcome back to Aeromotive, everybody. So what's all the noise about with the sensor technology? Well, let me give you a little history first. For the last 10 years, the OEMs have been putting their focus primarily on the supplemental restraint system, right? The airbags. All right, well, for the most part, they've got that mastered. So now what's the next phase? Sensor technology. In the next five years, you're going to see an explosion in sensor technology. Telemetry. Well, we want to break it down a little bit for you. So let's look at it from four different aspects. One, adaptivity, avoidance, predictability, and warnings. Let's give you a brief idea of what those are going to be all about. So we have a display here on some sensors that are going to have multiple purposes on a vehicle. And I'm going to start with this one over here. Consider this some type of cruise, cruise control adaptability, right? You're going to set in a parameter into your cruise control to give you the distance for the vehicle in front of you. Typically, right, the three second rule, uh, possibly 10 seconds, but you're going to program that into your vehicle. So as you begin to approach the car in front of you, indication starts to occur that you're approaching that distance that you had programmed into your vehicle. As you begin to increase that gap or distance between the car in front of you, the indication goes away. Now this could be used for a couple of different uh, uses outside of cruise control adaptability, also collision avoidance. Let's look at another one. This is going to be lane change technology. Again, multi-purposes. So you have two sensors that can do multiple functions on the vehicle to one, again, give you that avoidance, the predictability, right, your warnings. This will be lane change. So as you notice, as you begin to merge or drift, the sensor is going to pick up the fact that you just hit a lane, right? The dash is in the road, maybe a solid yellow, a solid white. As you continue to drift, maybe because of drowsiness, it's going to give you another warning, which now maybe went from a visual to an audible, right? Maybe a beep, 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 or how about a vibration in your seat? So as you begin to merge again and you're starting to make your change over yet into the following uh, lane, maybe to oncoming traffic, the warning is going to get increased and, more, uh, increased and more intense. So you want to drift back into each lane and come back into the lane that you started with. So again, multiple purposes. But what's all the noise about? The noise is about the signal coming from these sensors. They need to be protected. And that protection comes from shielding. The cable is going to be shielded. Now there's two types out there. There's a foil and there's a braided. It really depends on what type of frequency you're working on that determines what type of shielding you're going to have. Well, let's look at some of the repairability of some of these items. Here's a quick glance. As you notice, some of the shielding is missing, but there's no wire damage. As long as you don't have at least 25% or greater missing from the shielding, at this point, all we're asking is for you to slide over some shrinkable tubing and weatherproof it. The shielding will maintain its integrity and give you the signal that you're still looking for or shielding that you're looking for. But if that seems to be beyond any limitations or you feel uncomfortable doing that, then give us the opportunity to replace the circuit. And we'll replace it from terminal end to terminal end. Again, good signal, good repair, all done to an OEM specification. So I hope that cleared up some of the matters about all the noise and sensor technology. Nothing to be afraid of. Definitely embrace it and give us the opportunity to help you in any circumstances you might have. Again, thanks for tuning in. Have a safe day.